Hi guys, my name is Gurjot. Uh, so, you you all have might have heard about multi-threading in in Java, right? And uh, uh, so all like Java people do use this multi-threading except when it comes to the advanced level frameworks and uh, for the parallel executions, you can say, uh, right? So, uh, but there are a lot of people who you know don't know how to implement that uh, with their automation frameworks or testing frameworks. Know. So how can we integrate our multi-threading uh, with our automation testing frameworks? So I'll just let you know that uh, you know that will help you help you uh, in integrating your existing frameworks or uh, creating a new frameworks. Uh, you know where you can just uh, integrate the multi-threading with that, and you can use the parallel executions uh, concept here with the help of multi-threading. So uh, first of all, what exactly is multi-threading? So to start from the basic, uh, it's, it's a feature of Java that enables to execute the multiple parts of the program uh, simultaneously. You can say, and you know, in, uh, parallelly. So, if you want to execute two pra two programs at the same time, then you know, uh, you should use the multi-threading concept there. And uh, like for example, if you if you're using the uh, two different uh, you know pro programs together. Like program A is used by user A and program B is used by user B, or or the way, or the same user. So you, so you basically user A uses the two same same programs, uh, two different programs, you know, at the same time. Then I think uh, you can say it's, it's called multi-threading concept. So uh, if you see this diagram here, so, so there are three different threads here: thread one, thread two, and thread three, right? And uh, you have uh, here the thread one is using the server A, and uh, thread two is using the server B, and thread three is using the server C. So basically, uh, the servers are independent and uh, the threads are independent, but they are executed all in in the same time at the same time, right? So here, uh, how to so there are a lot of ways to uh, actually there are only two ways to uh, create a new thread. One is either by extending the thread class that's in inbuilt in Java, and uh, and the other way is if you can also implement the runnable interface. So these two ways are there to create a thread. Uh, sorry, to to use uh, multi-threading and uh, to use the thread class in your Java class. So I'll uh, start now uh, with uh, with the implementation part. Uh, with the Java automation framework, uh, so I'll start with the Selenium framework first. You know, uh, j just a basic framework. This is a layout Maven framework. I've already created that, and in in then in this pom.xml file, I've already uh, integrated the uh, Selenium Java and de de dependency and JNU dependency. This is by default, right? So this is the basic dependency I've already included. So you don't need to, you know, we don't need to include it uh, again. So here, I have created a sample class here, where I will just implement the multi-threading uh, concept here. So to start with this, uh, we just need to first of all uh, extend extend the thread class. This is this is one option. Second option is you can implement the runnable impl uh, implement the runnable interface. So this is the one of the same things. So. So the main reason why we, we do uh, we implement the runnable interfaces suppose uh, you know you and java there is no multiple inheritance right so if you write this extends thread class so you cannot extend one more test class there you cannot extend one more class there you know abc or c you know, xyz you cannot you, you cannot do that in java because it's not supported in multi threading uh, it's not supporting you know, the multiple inheritance, right? So, so uh, that is why there are some scenarios we need to avoid this, and we in, instead of that we use the uh, interface called uh, the runnable interface, where we can extend the different classes and implement one interface. You know, so the multiple inheritance will work there indirectly. So you know, that is so. The, this is the only reason we use the extend extend keywords. You know, we we don't use the extend keyword here. And use the interfaces there uh, okay in this example 
next thing is uh, again now we have extended the thread class so by default I'll create few things there that I need to use here first of all web driver driver right and I'll import this What I'll do is I'll create one run method here as well. So, so, so the story behind this run method is whenever I will execute this thread class, you know the uh, well I will whenever I will start the, uh, the execution of the thread by by default automatically this method will get get, get called. You know, so this is the concept of the multi-threading. So you know. Uh, so that we should keep in mind and design our frameworks uh, you know as per the as per that feature also i'll write one one thing here called private uh, okay you can use private keywords there so that it belongs to the class only and now here sorry i have written one more string variable called browser type browser type here right so here Okay, one more thing now. So I'll create the constructor as well of this class to pass the runtime variables. Right, this dot. Okay, so this constructor will uh, have one argument called string browser type. So that you know, so this browser I will pass from the runtime. And uh, this dot browser type is equal to browser type so in short this browser type where at which I will pass will get equal to this browser type right and then you uh, okay. here I will create one method called setup method here and one method I will create here for PSVM, the static wide main, main main method here. Okay. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll hmm, this setup method also. Browser type so this is the code I have right now and uh, if browser type dot equals or ignore case uh, or equals rom then then do this else if browser type equals ignore case firefox then do this and similarly if you have an, one more browser then you can use that all right and then what we'll do is i have the code here i will just copy paste this code uh because i don't need to do this in this uh, you know session because you already know this code i guess all right and uh, this is for the chrome i'll import the driver here and for the firefox as well i'll import this here okay so so basically what i have done right now is uh, in my setup method i have uh, created a code for uh, to launch the, the chrome and firefox browsers and uh, Okay, so then what else? Right, okay, so what can we do now? Hmm. So, what I'll do is I'll go into this and call this method called setup. 
all right um before doing this what i'll also do is after this code i will launch driver.get url http google.com okay start this google.com driver dot manage dot window dot maximize okay now I will write the code here for setup here it, it is asking so in the run method I have written this method called setup method and here I will pass the browser type okay so that is already defined here so just make note I still didn't provide any runtime argument so I'm just writing the backend code here right now not with the front end like which but I'll pass uh, the real-time arguments I didn't write the code there okay so hmm. So in the um, the this method we can also include the name of the, the threads that is getting executed like this. So let's really explain this code. Uh, yeah, we used it, this thread class dot current thread and that dot get name. So this will actually get give me that uh, you know uh, the ongoing ongoing thread name. This will provide and uh, what i can do here is i can include this super keyword here and one more argument here for the third name okay okay so what else you know uh, i think that's about the run method what else we can do here mm -mm, no i think that's all Fine. So now, how to execute this? If you want to, um, you can put the some time to wait here. Thread dot sleep, three thousand seconds, and execute uh, this here with an exception hand name. Okay. Now. So up until now, I'll explain what things that I that I did right now. Uh, first of all, I I took some two variables here. One is the driver variable, and second is the browser type string variable. And then uh, I've written the constructor name here. Constructor here is uh, taken the two arguments here. One is the name. So this is the thread name, and this is the browser type. So I'm calling the parent constructor here with a super keyword of this class. So this it actually is, it is getting passed to this thread class argument and you know the the, the argument the, the, the constructor value of the thread will get executed and then we have um, this dot browser type is equal to browser type so uh, this variable will get initiated when once i provide the runtime argument there then i have written the uh, run method here run method is internally calling the setup method and apart from that, it's 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 getting me that uh, the the name of the current uh, execution thread. Okay, so when it goes to the setup method, it's actually launching the browser, uh, Firefox and Chrome, and uh, right. So that, that that's all I've written right now. Now how for the execution part? I'll go to the main class here, main method here. What I'll do is I'll write here thread t1 is equal to new multi thread automation plus right and here I am will pass the name of the browser so because this is internally calling the constructor so 
so I'll pass two things here one is the name of the thread and name of the browser so the name of the thread is chrome driver and the chrome uh, browser name is chrome here and second thread I will pass for Firefox multi thread right here I'll pass Firefox sorry for the spelling Firefox and here I'll pass Firefox driver thread And here I'll pass the Firefox keyword here. Right. So now how to start these threads? What I'll do is I'll create uh, one line called T1 dot. I'll do and I have the method to start the thread for execution. So I'll start the execution thread here, and this is for the T1 and T2. I will start again. Right. So. So that's all all about the code that I've written now with this code I can uh, so this code will execute both the browsers at the same time one by one uh, you know first uh, on the same time it will launch the two browsers and it, it launched the google.com or you can say facebook.com anything will launch here okay so that's something multi-threading uh, implementation uh, level uh, with the automation framework that we can do and it depends upon the home how, how do you implement this it in your code and use this feature and it's, it's one of the one of the most beneficial feature which will actually maintain the a single instance all over the framework and still you can execute the parallel executions you know uh, in an effective manner right so uh, I'll execute it now and uh, Okay. Okay, so I'm not getting this main method class here. Okay, sorry. String is an array. Right. So I'll execute it now. So just now see what what will happen in the logs. So this is the thread name Chrome driver. So now the Chrome driver has launched. I will execute the Facebook.com. And on simultaneously, it will Firefox will get launched, and it will navigate to Facebook.com. So there are two things per executing in the parallelly. Still, we are doing the uh, you know uh, execution is going on. So I think uh, that will help you in the implementation level of the multi-threading with the automation frameworks. Uh, if you have any question or feedback, just uh, drop down the comments, and I'll. I to resolve that no. so yeah thank you so much for your uh, time and i'll bring the ne next video soon thank you so much bye bye